Crandall with it and now Law. Costello, we said earlier, the two-time Kelly Cup winner. This was the first time in a long time that the Stanley Cup, the Kelly Cup, as a quick turnaround into the offensive zone. Ballarani scores on the backhand. That was a really nice backhand shot by Valerani there, and he, uh, I think that uh, he caught Fielding there cheating a little bit, maybe looking for the pass, uh, but no such thing. He didn't make the pass. He faked it and then went to the backhand. Valerani's second goal of this game, so now he and Weidman both with two goals and a nice move. Yeah, it was a fake backhand pass. Look at right there, and then he takes it himself and goes in. Just that one little shake can shake the goaltender off to make him cheat to the other side, and he was able to get it in. In the ECHL, perhaps he gave them a little bit of a, of a help to get uh, up to that level. Six to three, the ECHL All-Stars in the lead. The Thunder score. A chance out in front. Brian Ward puts it home. And there's that two-goal game once again. C.J. Mott gets caught out of the net here, making a bad play with the puck. It always used to drive me insane when goalies came out of the net and then messed it up. And I think when we look at the re replay on this one, the All-Star goaltender, C.J. Mott came out here and lost. Well, we're, we didn't go back that far. But the reason that Adirondack had this big of a chance uh, was because Mott came out to play it, lost it. The Thunder jumped on it and put it out in front. It's defensive play by Falkowski as the puck is moved around. And Henry walks in over the line. He drops it back for Bradshaw. And he has the puck fall off his stick. It's found down low, though, and Albert can't get it to go. On the backhand, he moves it to Bradshaw. Costello finds control of this one, oh. loses it down. Low, Thunder alone back wow. they score! James Henry puts it home and makes it a one goal game with 18 24 to go in the third the Thunder are making it interesting here they sure are but the all-stars were on their horse and out of the zone too early law trying to move it away for the Thunder but still in tight here the all-stars Weidman trying to push it out in front. Nice pass, quick shot. They score. Perfectly placed shot by Matt Garbowski. Has the All-Stars up by two again. And another point for Weidman in this All-Star game. He may be the guy that gets the MVP of this game. 13.48 to go in the third. It's seven to five All-Stars on the NHL Network. Well, as the Thunder bring it up, we'll go back down to Matt on the bench this time with first period goaltender Jamie Phillips. Matt. Well, you guys were talking a lot about the goaltending of Jamie Phillips. I see uh, you left C.J. Mott here to handle the four on four, three on three. Huh, Jamie? Pollock could drive and he scored. Right as you said that, too. Uh, I didn't have a choice on what, what, I, uh, what period I played. I'm not going to lie. I'm not too upset that I didn't get the, the four on four, three on three. But I'm just happy to, you know, get the opportunity to play here and uh, represent my organization. Yeah, that's, that's right. It's like a baseball game, actually. You can go up and get a... Get a drink, get a hot dog, and watch the game. Here's Costello firing off oh. the bar. It's turned around, and it's a 2 on 0 for the Thunder. Back the other way, it's Ward with Riley. Ward to Riley. Back to Ward, and the pass shouldn't have gone. It's played back out in front. It's found by Duke off his shot. It's punched out by Mott, and it comes to the blue line. And maybe one extra pass right there, but now a breakaway the other way. In alone, Sidlowski, he scores! What a great backhand shot by the captain of the All-Star team. He roofed that thing right up and over the goaltender fielding. And that's much to the chagrin of these hometown Adirondack Thunder fans who thought that they were looking at a tie game moments earlier. What a great backhand roof shot. Look at that, the move over and up and hit the top of the net. Bradshaw looking up into the middle. His pass has moved away just 20 seconds to go as the puck will be brought down by the All-Stars. Thunder will turn it around. Adirondack has to tag up. Here's C.J. Mott. He's going to go for the empty net. He gives it up, and the Thunder score with 11.3 to go. There's still time. There's still time. What did I tell you about goaltenders coming out and screwing it up? C.J. Mott has played really well in this half. But that was a bad move. I don't care if you're an all-star game or not. You're trying to score a goal. And you give the puck away and you put, and you, whatever good stuff you did, you just blew it by coming out and trying to do that.